Hi, this is a session that is to do with um, picking the paper for your pastel pictures. Before we get into colours and um, compositions, is to actually look at your paper choice. So currently what I'm working on over here is a commission of a little dog. Now it's a little white dog. So what I'm looking for in the photograph that I'm working from is um, colours within that white. So this particular dog's got a lot of creams and buttery undertones going on within that white fur. So what I want to do is bring that out. So I've chosen a warm background and this is just going to come through the white and give it that nice warm tones um, just naturally. So choice of colour for your background paper is one thing. The other thing is actually type of paper. So I tend to work on two paper types. I predominantly work in either pastel mat or velour paper. And the reason I make these choices is because velour paper has a soft, very touchy, feely um, texture to it. Think velvet um, fabric, um, or for those of us who are at a certain age, fuzzy felt. Same thing, it's got a fur texture to the actual paper. So if you're doing animals, so um, dogs, cats, donkeys, horses, um, velour paper is fabulous just to give that stroke ability in, within your painting. Um, an example of this that I've recently completed for a demo piece is this cat. So as you can see, we've got a third texture going on there and that gives a really soft look to the finished piece. Now, if I wasn't doing a third creature, so if I was doing a portrait of a person or a flower or an animal that doesn't have fur, for example, I'm looking around my studio now, um, this little lizard. So this little gecko is done on pastel mat and what pastel mat gives you um, I'm just showing you that so you can see, is it's a very toothy paper. So it gives that smooth feel and it really grabs the pastels and it holds onto it. It also means when you're blending, you have a likelihood of losing your fingertips. Done that on many occasions. So sometimes it's quite nice to use a cool color with a warm um, picture just to give that contrast. So here we've got some red flowers, just a very quick sketch ready for a workshop. And that's done on a grey background, a cool background, because that makes the red really pop. Blue and reds are opposite, they're great colour combinations. So for this cool blue toned grey to put a red rose on, really works well. And again, using opposites that I did for the demo on this little cat, this little cat's actually quite blue. And you can see she really pops out on that warm background. But as you can also see on the white fur, she had a lot of buttery tones within her white fur. And here I've just left the paper showing through and that really gives a nice effect. So yeah, hopefully that will help in choosing what type of paper you're gonna work with for your paintings just to begin with. And next we'll be have a look at choosing your colors. Okay, hope that was helpful. See you later. Bye.